what's up everyone uh, so you may have uh, uh, encountered the same situation as I do the safety belt will not unbuckle so this is really pain in the neck and then I uh, got my kid trapped and he was crying so I searched online there wasn't many videos that just describing how to unbuckle the stuffed safety belt you know unless you just you know, escape it from the loose safety belt. But you know, today we're gonna find out uh, how to, you know, uh, find out the real root cause for this. And some recommended uh, using the uh, lesion grease. Uh, I did that. You can see that this uh, residual of uh, lesion grease from last night. It didn't do anything. It was helping uh, a while ago. Uh, when it was uh, not uh, buckle and unbuckle freely, I did that and uh, it did help for a while, but now it's stuck again and this time it's permanent. And also someone recommended W40 and some don't. So we'll, we'll figure out today what really causing the stuck and then we'll get it removed and fixed permanent. Okay, let's get to work. So if you have a Pry tools, you can use it, but uh, right now I just have a clip from uh, a, a broken uh, tape measure, so I'm gonna use that as a, as my prior tool. You can also use the screwdrivers. See, I managed to uh, pry open this side, so let's move on. So if you keep gently prying, and this this side will finally open, so we can take it off. Okay, this side is finally open. See, nothing damaged so far. See, those clips intact. So we need to f figure out what went wrong. Okay, so uh, you can see that it's still all stuck. So first thing I'm gonna just wipe off the residual. Uh, the same grease that, that I applied earlier and it, it look really messy and then uh, that could cause problem as well see just stuck So I got the uh, bottom piece out of the way, so so both shells intact, so no damage so far. So let's just figure out what is going on here on this side, okay? See, you see this stuck? So once it's clicked, this uh, helped to uh, hold the buckle and prevent it from being pulled out. And by pressing this, this is supposed to release. So this one can be unbuckled, but it got stuck for, for some reason. So finally, I got it unstuck, and we're gonna we're gonna see how we can fix that problem. Okay. See the good working condition buckle is supposed to be moving up and down very freely, and then uh, this is the more function one. See, it goes down; it won't go up freely. So when you actually buckle it. This one, the red tab is supposed to move up freely, so this is engaged. And when you press it down, and that thing retract and it's supposed to be disengaged. But somehow this, this one is not moving freely, you can see that. You know, as the um, any, many years of usage, I, I bet a lot of dirt and you know dust trapped inside and then uh, it just, you know, stuck the mechanism so uh, looks like the uh, uh, lithium grace this time it didn't work so for the sake of it I'm gonna try WD4 even though some people warned me not to do it but let's see what's what happens if I use that okay uh, the worst case scenario I can just replace this buckle okay and let's give it a try 
to protect my interior leather seat, I just wrap it with some wrap and I just apply the W40. Okay, I'm gonna give it five or five minutes and then uh, check out later. So the first step, I'm gonna take off this spray. Okay. Okay, it's very easy to take off this spring. So, and you can see that on this side, this one, the white piece got stuck. It's not coming in very easily. See? You have to pull this red piece up to be able to let it disengage. See? That's a good part. So, we might need to take off this assembly as well. Okay, this spring is also removed. You can see there's a lot of junk that's stuck inside, okay? So first I'm gonna clean up everything and then we'll see what happens. All right guys, so mm -hmm. I finally mm -hmm. took off this uh, red piece and then I found out something very strange. So this plastic bar just sitting here and doing nothing. And mm -hmm. then that is the culprit that jam the whole mechanism so i if if i just took this away i reassembly everything and it will it will start working but i'm not gonna just let this one you know s stay out so i'm gonna keep looking the root cause and guess what and by accident this thing fell underneath the seat and when i'm grabbing this out i found another piece that one looks very interesting mm -hmm. Looks like this thing is, is is grabbing this bar and then it goes back to here. That's so strange. that's the thing that was missing and causing the jam and the uh, on jam. So let's put everything back together. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this one here. Mm -hmm. Put it there. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, finally this this thing is back on and we're gonna reassemble everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the uh, spring on the back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, which one is the important part? The line thing? Mm -hmm. The line part is the more important yeah. one? That black line thing? We need that case so yeah. it works. Yeah. So we're gonna put the string spring back in. I make them look uh, okay. Me. Now let's try it again. Yeah. Voila. Unleash. Yes. Put it on. Unleash. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Now all we have to do is put the case back on. Yeah. All right. Now let's put the cases back on. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. It's the most important part, or else everything will fall back again. Mm -hmm. The case. Now let's put the other case back. There we go. Almost done. Almost like the other okay. one. Voila! Voila! Oh, voila. Okay, let's check. If it, wor if it doesn't work, we're busted. All right. It worked. Oh, we found the root cause and solved the problem. Yep. Thank you for Thank you for watching. And see you in the next, see you in the next video.